Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you clay slime. Not just any clay slime, we'll scent it up. So, let's get started. So putting a spin on the clay slime, we are going to be scenting it up with food essences, yes. Now, I have 24 food essences right here, as you can see right in front of you. And then we have 24 different colored clay slimes. So, I'm going to be adding them and then we're going to be playing with the clay slimes. There's so many to do. Here is the white clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the coconut essence. The coconut essence odor profile is a very tropical, fruity, nutty, sweet note with milky nuances. Now, you can use an eyedropper if you have one. I did not have one. I had these pipettes. These are transfer pipettes or disposable pipettes. So what is flavor? Whether you spell it with the U or without the U, the meaning is still the same. It is a sensory impression of a food or other substance and is determined mainly by the chemical senses of taste and smell. The trigeminal senses, which detect chemical irritants in the mouth and throat, may also occasionally determine the flavor. The flavor of the food as such can be altered with natural or artificial flavorants, which affect these senses. White shade done. Smells so coconutty. Mm. On to the red clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the strawberry essence. Strawberry essence odor profile, a sweet fruity note. Odor profile of fresh and juicy tartness. Of the three chemical senses, smell is the main determinant of a food item's flavor. While the taste of food is limited to sweet, sour, bitter, salty, umami, and other basic tastes, the smells of a food are potentially limitless. A food's flavor, therefore, can be easily altered by changing its smell while keeping its taste similar. Nowhere is this better exemplified than in artificially flavored jelly, soft drinks, and candies, which, while made of bases with a similar taste, have dramatically different flavors due to the use of different scents or fragrances. Red shade done. Smells like strawberries. Hmm. Here you see a trio of orange shades. We have apricot, orange, and pumpkin. So I'm going to be starting with the apricot colored slime. Now I do want to mention the essences will not match the colors most of the time. To this, I'm going to add the banana essence. The banana essence odor profile has an overpowering, sweet, and starchy tropical fruity scent. Although the terms flavoring or flavoring in common language denote the combined chemical sensations of taste and smell, the same terms are usually used in the fragrance and flavors industry to refer to edible chemicals and extracts that alter the flavor of food and food products through the sense of smell. Due to the high cost or unavailability of natural flavor extracts, most commercial flavorants are nature identical, which means that they are the chemical equivalent of natural flavors, but chemically synthesized rather than being extracted from the source materials. Up next, we have the orange clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the orange essence. The orange essence odor profile has an enticing, light, sweet, citrus, orange peel-like aroma and vitality. Let's talk about flavorants. Now, flavorants are focused on altering or enhancing the flavors of natural food products such as meats and vegetables or creating flavor for food products that do not have the desired flavors such as candies and other snacks. Most types of flavorants are focused on scent and taste. Few commercial products exist to stimulate the trigeminal senses since these are sharp, astringent, and typically unpleasant flavors. On to the pumpkin colored clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the pineapple essence. Pineapple essence odor profile, a fresh and succulent fruity note. It has a sweet, robust aroma of a freshly cut pineapple. The precise definition of a flavorant is difficult since its literal definition includes anything that contributes flavor to food. A legal definition by the U.S. Code of Federal Regulations, a natural flavorant is the essential oil, oleoresin, essence or extractive protein, hydrolysate, distillate or any product of roasting, heating or enzymolysis which contains the flavoring constituents derived from a spice, fruit or fruit juice, vegetable or vegetable juice, edible yeast, herb, bark, bud, root, leaf, or any other edible portion of a plant, meat, seafood, poultry, eggs, dairy products, or fermentation products thereof, whose primary function in food is flavoring rather than nutritional. So here the trio of orange shades are done. It smells like banana, orange, and pineapple. Hmm. On to the yellow shades. We have lemon yellow and we have marigold. Let's do lemon yellow first. To this, I'm going to add the lemon essence. Lemon essence odor profile. Astringent, sour, sweet undertone, aromatic nuance, bright, cheerful, and vibrant. 
Artificial flavorants are chemically synthesized compounds that are used to flavor food items but do not meet the specifications listed above. Artificial flavorants are often formulated with the same chemical compounds found in natural flavorants. Although slightly different, the European Union's guidelines for natural flavorants are somewhat similar. In addition, certain artificial flavorants are given an E number which may be included on food labels. Hmm, fascinating. Lemon yellow clay slime done! On to the marigold clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the mango essence. Mango Essence Odor Profile, the king of fruits. Fragrance is sweet and deliciously tropical, exotic, rich, juicy, pulpy mangoes. I'm using a plastic transfer pipette to take out the mango essence. Oh, that was not good at all. So many air bubbles. Boo. Let's try that again. And yay. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, the smell. Now we're talking about the smell. Flavorants or simply flavorants are engineered and composed in similar ways as with industrial fragrances and fine perfumes. To produce natural flavors, the flavor must first be extracted from the source substance. The methods of extraction can involve solvent extraction, distillation, or using force to squeeze it out. Duo of yellows are done. It smells like lemon and mango. Hmm. Now for the green shades, we have light green and shamrock green. Let's start with the light green. To this, I'm going to add the apple essence. The apple essence odor profile has a very fresh, mouth-watering, fruity note, sweet or green and sour. Now in this case, the latter. The extracts are then usually further purified and subsequently added to food products to flavor them. To begin producing artificial flavors, flavor manufacturers must either find out the individual naturally occurring aroma chemicals and mix them appropriately to produce a desired flavor or create a novel, non-toxic artificial compound that gives a specific flavor. Most artificial flavors are specific and often complex mixtures of singular naturally occurring flavor compounds combined together to either imitate or enhance a natural flavor. Let's go on to the shamrock green clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the ice cream soda essence. Ice cream soda essence odor profile is a whisper of sweet vanilla and carbonated water. These mixtures are formulated by flavorists to give a food product a unique flavor and to maintain flavor consistency between different product batches or after recipe changes. The list of known flavoring agents includes thousands of molecular compounds and the flavor chemist the flavorists can often mix these together to produce many of the common flavors. The compounds used to produce artificial flavors are almost identical to those that occur naturally and a natural origin for a substance does not necessarily imply that it is safe to consume. Green shades are done. Smells like apple and ice cream soda. Mmm. Now for the blue shades, we have turquoise and royal blue. Let's start with the turquoise. To this, I'm going to add the vanilla essence. Vanilla essence odor profile has a very sweet, cozy, comforting, with a pleasing baking feeling to it. In fact, artificial flavors are considered somewhat safer to consume than natural flavors due to the standard of purity and mixture consistency that are enforced either by the company or by law. Natural flavors, in contrast, may contain toxins from other sources, while artificial flavors are typically more pure and are required to undergo more testing before being sold for consumption. Flavors from food products are usually a result of a combination of natural flavors which set up the basic smell profile of a food product while artificial flavors modify the smell to accent it. Up next, we have the royal blue clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the blueberry essence. Blueberry essence odor profile has a very sweet, fruity fragrance with jam-like and forest nuances. Okay, so let's talk about flavor creation. Most food and beverage companies do not create their own flavors, but instead employ the services of a flavor company. Food and beverage companies may require flavors for new products, product line extensions, for example, low-fat versions of existing products, or due to changes in formula or processing for existing products. The flavor creation is done by a specially trained scientist called a flavorist. First set of blue shades done. It smells like vanilla and blueberry. Mm. Now we have the second set of blues. We have azure and sapphire. Let's start with azure. To this, I'm going to add the korma essence. Korma essence odor profile. This also has a very complex ar aromatic smell as well. It is made with different spices, herbs, and it all comes together in this delicious gravy smell. Now the flavor's job combines extensive scientific knowledge of the chemical palette with artistic creativity to develop a new and distinctive flavors. 
The flavor creation begins when the flavorists receive a brief from the client. In the brief, the client will attempt to communicate exactly what type of flavor they seek, in what application it will be used, and any special requirements. For example, must be all natural. The communication barrier can be quite difficult to overcome since most people aren't experienced at describing flavors. On to the sapphire colored clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the sandal essence. Sandalwood Essence Odor Profile has a very classic oriental sweet woody scent. The flavors will use his or her knowledge of the available chemical ingredients to create a formula and compound it on an electronic balance. The flavor will then be submitted to the client for testing. Several iterations with feedback from the client may be needed before the right flavor is found. Additional work may also be done by the flavor company. For example, the flavor company may conduct sensory taste tests to test consumer acceptance of a flavor before it is sent to the client or to further investigate the sensory space. Uh, this is done. Second set of blue shades are done. It smells like korma and sandalwood. Hmm. Now for the shades of pink. We have pink rose and magenta. Let's start with the pink rose. To this, I'm going to add the rose essence. Rose essence odor profile. It is the queen of flowers. It emanates a sweet, subtle, strong, and flowery scent. The flavor company may also employ application specialists who work to ensure the flavor will work in the application for which it is intended. This may require special flavor delivery technologies that are used to protect the flavor during processing or cooking so that the flavor is only released when eaten by the end consumer. Such a gorgeous color and enchanting scent. Let's bring out the magenta colored clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the raspberry essence. Raspberry essence odor profile Fruity sweet, berry tartness with jammy nuances. So now we are going to be talking about something very important which is the dietary restrictions. No, this is not about that kind of diet. Now the food manufacturers are sometimes reluctant about informing consumers about the source from where the flavor is obtained and whether it has been produced with incorporation of substances such as animal byproducts, glycerin, gelatin and the like and the use of alcohol in the flavors. Now this was a store-bought clay slime. Really happy with this purchase. Darker pink shades are done. It smells like roses and raspberries. Hmm. Up next, we have the lighter pink tones. We have light pink and candy pink. Let's start with the light pink. To this, I'm going to add the biryani essence. Biryani essence odor profile, very complex and aromatic, made with different herbs and spices. Now, Muslims, Orthodox Jews, and Hindus adhere to religious laws, and vegans to personal morals that restrict the use of animal byproducts and alcohol in foods unless subject to oversight and inspection by their respective religious authority or less strict or circumstantial moral belief. So let's explore this further. Flavoring materials are among the most complex components of modern food products. They are made from a large number and variety of ingredients from different sources. The complexity of flavoring materials make them particularly interesting with regard to regulatory compliance and other requirements such as halal status. Light pink clay slime done! Check! Now onto the candy pink. To this, I'm going to add the Ruafza Essence. Ruafza Essence odor profile smells very perfumey, sweet, and a mix of rose and sandalwood. Halal food producers and consumers benefit greatly from the information flavor manufacturers collect to meet product quality and regulatory requirements. A liquid flavor formula that has been certified as halal can itself be used as a component of any number of flavoring materials and its halal status can be verified by a certificate instead of scrutinizing each raw material in its formula. Light pink shades are done. Smells like biryani and ruavza. Mmm. Up next, we have a dark pink. Let's infuse this with essence. To this, I'm going to add the saffron essence. Saffron essence odor profile is sweet and spicy with an earthy base note. Diluted liquid flavors provide a case to illustrate the value of certifying concentrated flavoring materials. Lipids including fats, fatty acids, waxes, and sterols, among others, are widely used in flavors for both their sensory and physical properties. So following that, I think this really leads to food labeling. Now, food label is the primary means for communicating with the consumer about a product. Dark pink shade done. It smells like saffron. 
Now for the purple shades, we have lavender and indigo. Let's start with lavender. To this, I'm going to add the pista essence. Pistachio or pistachio, whatever you call it, we call it pista. Now this essence odor profile is very chemical smell. It's not nutty or rich savory like pistachios should be. It smells fake and super sweet. It would be great for desserts though. I think that's what it was actually made for. The label is highly regulated in the US and in most parts of the world. Most countries have been updating their food labeling regulations in the past years to better reflect the global regulatory environment. It is regulated to ensure that the label contains all critical information. Now on to the indigo colored clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the peppermint essence. Peppermint essence odor profile. It has a powerful, refreshing, camphor cooling and sharp odor mixed with a sweet minty scent. So invigorating and rejuvenating. And that it is accurate. Now the label not only is a means of communicating the contents of a container to a consumer but can also provide very critical information to a food allergic individual. The nutrition information contained in the label conveys data on calories and key macro and micronutrients that can help consumers to prevent obesity and ensure adequate intake of nutrients commonly under consumed. Purple shades are done. Smells like pista and peppermint. Hmm. So we have the brown shades. You can see the light brown and dark brown. First of all, we'll do the light brown. To this, I'm going to add the almond essence. The almond essence odor profile has a very bittersweet note, soft and nutty. The food label is where food policy meets the road and becomes personal to a consumer. Food labels are used to attract customers as much as to inform them about the contents of the product. Food labels are effective tools for marketing, but the manufacturers have a responsibility to ensure that the food label is accurate and in compliance to all applicable regulations and that it is truthful and not misleading. The label must present an accurate description of the contents. I'll speak on this more done with the light brown clay slime and let's go to the dark brown clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the chocolate essence. Chocolate essence odor profile has a very deep and rich gourmand note. This scent is fraught with conflict between bitter and sweet so that the consumers are not deceived about the product. The criteria for labeling in the U.S. are well described. The measures by which to evaluate truthfulness are not subjective and in fact food labeling is quite simple as long as one knows the rules. The food label is an important communication tool that provides consumers with information about a product's composition, nutritional profile, and quantity of contents so that they can make product comparisons and selections. The light brown and dark brown shades are done. It smells so almondy and chocolatey. Mm. Here we have the gray and black shade. First up, gray. It looks like a tiny gray cloud. To this, I'm going to add the, how do you say that, Kevra essence? Kevra Essence Odor Profile has a very sweet, almost perfumey, woody, grassy scent. It is used in both sweet and savory dishes in the subcontinent. Today, consumers are using food labels to find information such as the ingredient list, expiration date, nutrition, country of origin, serving size, and statements about the health benefits to help them make their purchasing decisions. Consumer want this label information presented in an easy to understand and transparent way. This is a very long video and I'm really glad YouTube has finally done this, adding video chapters. It breaks up a video into sections, each with an individual preview. Gray shade done. It smells like halwa. Where's the pudding? On to the black clay slime. To this, I'm going to add the cardamom essence. Cardamom essence odor profile is sweet, resinous, aromatic, and spicy smell. Food labeling is vital. Not only is it a legal requirement if you are a food producer, it also helps consumers make informed decisions when purchasing food and helps them to store and use the food they have purchased safely. Whether you supply restaurants, supermarkets, the requirements are the same. It is important you understand your responsibilities and why food packaging is important. So nature offers an abundance of natural sources of flavoring substances, providing an infinite range of taste in food. Flavors have been added to food since ancient times with the use of herbs and spices and aromatic extracts and oils. Modern flavorings provide the consumer with a wider sensory experience 
and have the added advantages of consistency of flavor and enhanced consumer safety. Black Shade Done smells like cardamom. Mm. So the containers actually go in this contraption. Spin it around. Whee! Let's make this colorful. Dark brown, light brown, pumpkin, orange, apricot, marigold, lemon yellow, red, pink rose, magenta, white, bubblegum pink. Let's fill in the other side. Gray, black, light pink, candy pink, lavender, indigo, light green, shamrock green, turquoise, royal blue, azure, and sapphire. Yay, it's all done, finally, alhamdulillah. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press that bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, love is. Bye. Tizakala Khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Or here. Check it out.